Hi everyone. All right, welcome to this place. So I thought we'd do a pick a card. Uh, they're fun and of course you can make this about whatever you want, any area of life, be as general or I suppose specific as you want. Open-mindedness is always suggested. Uh, but the intention particularly when I was laying out the cards, choosing the piles, was what is new um, that's coming towards you, that you're becoming closer to, right? So we have three piles here. We have uh, yellow, purple, and blue. This is also sun, moon, and Venus energy. So say you're just listening versus looking or uh, you could choose be a color again yellow purple blue or moon sun or Venus if you want to focus in that way also <clears throat> okay we're gonna work right to left so we're gonna start with blue or Venus energy. Let's see what's going on with this. Um, let's look at the bottom. We have number nine. It's the flowers. That's a beautiful card to receive. Oh, a letter. The letter. So there's Leo energy here. Oh, wow. He definitely. And the sun. Like a love letter of the heart, or this is this is giving, right? All of these are giving. So whatever new that's coming towards you, I feel like is in abundance, and um, it it like wants to give. This wants to give um, so much. It's so this could this is so loving right um could be romantic for some of you with this couple here um whenever sun uh or, or flowers and the letter come together to me this is a love letter in and of itself um, but of course this could be um something i see to do with family in addition uh just pause this incredibly positive energy here so we have engagement is the Venusian energy. We have Venus here. We have sun energy and Mars energy. So we have masculine, feminine, and the card in the middle says devotion. Just a second. So what is new that's coming towards you? I really feel like for some of you, this is this is a very, this is some really strong, beautiful relationships. <clears throat> I see this can come through, through, again, like family. It can come through, um, I see a double expression through your work or your career. In addition, like this is a lot of gratitude, right? Like it's just, again, a lot of giving in that space. Uh, and as, again, the intention is what is new that's coming towards you. This is a lot of support. But I, I, kept, I kept feeling it like you on the other end of that is also giving in addition. Um... Therefore, it creates like a balance, like this Mars-Venus energy, right? There's a balance of it <coughs> versus, say, like overgiving or like one end being lacking in something. It's like this is it's really beautiful. I also see it as uh, 
relationally in ways of ro romantic energy as well, whether this is dating or a relationship that's more committed. Um, especially with this devotion and engagement, that could very well be the case, is that something goes to a new level. It, it, it receives like the ring of Saturn, right? Because when I first saw this card, I actually thought of Saturn, which is kind of uh, the combination of these would show me a kind of... Um, A little bit of a calculated effort, but it's not manipulative. It's more of taking something kind of slow as you go, right? It's almost like an old something. Something's maybe old fashioned, or or something. What what do we mean when we say that word? The ex something about the expediency of like the way society works at, now and, and, and how it did before when th there's something about before when it was less complicated. There it is. And that's actually where a person is. Um, Now, I suppose if we have this card of resistance, so if you're a super giver, then part of what it is that's coming towards you is a practice in receiving. Pra practice that, I heard, between practice practice that <coughs> excuse me and i suppose if there is kind of it's not it's not exactly any resistance but if it's too if there's too much of it then i guess you'll kind of know that you're you'd be going against what the heart knows. Because someone's been waiting for this, that could be a part of this resistance too, is that a person has been waiting so long for something. It's like, maybe even resisting some of their urges at times to what they, what it is that they maybe wanted in the moment because they knew there was something beyond that that was, <clears throat> again, more in line with um, what the heart really wants. So there's a maturity here, a ways of choice. Devotion with the letter is intriguing too because there's something, this stamp is catching my eye. It's like, it is, it's something, when you put your stamp of something, it becomes a part of you, right? It's like two separate things connect and are, I see, in the right place and... <clears throat> keep seeing this like great these great commit there's great commitments so i suppose the heart and and courage in what you are creating or what you will be creating with how you will be creating with that in the future <clears throat> i see do, you don't need to block your light you can always, think of it this way, I feel like most of you here are givers, right? You can give love, like, if you, when you are love, then you give love without trying, right? Um, but again, I see pra practice receiving, and, and um, I see don't deny yourself your own power to what could 
be possible into the future. I mean, this shows me a very present energy. And there's something long, there's something long that's attached to that. Like it continues. And I, I, there's something about fear um, not being affected by something that used to scare you, to, that used to be kind of scary. Uh, there might have been like a Scorpio lesson. Um, it's kind of the fixed energy, like Scorpio, uh, Leo, Taurus. Beautiful. Uh, someone gives someone flowers too. There must be something to do that there's, um, when's the last time you received flowers or gave flowers? Um, when's the last time you received like a little note or I, I well, I guess that's it. Like something about, you can look at both sides of it. It's like easy to move around it, you know? And whatever you are engaging with right now is what also connects to what is given to you and what will be new to you in the future. Fabulous. All right, we'll take that. Something definitely contractual, too. It, it, it's more, again, it's like stamped or there's a seal on it. And I just saw an actual physical seal and they're so happy, right? They spend one third of their day hunting. They spend one third of their day sleeping and they spend one the other third of their day playing, right? Having a good time. Alrighty then. <laughs> it touches on all these points. That's really cool. All right, let's go to number two, 1250. Number two, let's see who you three are. From the bottom? That's right. Oh, we have the cross. Beautiful. That's a very powerful card, actually. I believe this is the path. Number 20, so we have 36 and 22. <clears throat> and number 17, we have this big water bird here. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> like a tickle in my throat. Uh, let me tune into these three for a second. What kind of bird is this? Well, I guess, I guess it seems to be there's, okay, what was the intention? The intention was, is what is new that's coming towards you? Well, I suppose a all right, here we go. A part of that is your, more of your purpose. Could also be a stronger faith for some of you. Uh, it's an internal space, uh, very much so. Um, how do I explain? Let's stick to purpose the path, right? The purpose creates the path. Um, now this path does wind, right? It's not t completely straight, kind of goes, but it's flat. It's not like on some big mountain. Oh, look, there's a cross there too. 
So wherever you are, you're going to see there's something about what's coming towards you is <clears throat> certain signs and symbols are going to help you to realize that you're on the right path. Uh, it And it's interesting because it may be actually very intriguing um, in the way that what's coming towards you, like how, how it... Uh, I don't know if progresses is the right word, but perhaps. Um, <laughs> and this includes understanding burdens of the past too as you go along. Not necessarily carrying them with you so that the, the trip is uncomfortable because this bird shows me an energy that's able to stand on its own, especially emotionally. They also can fly high into the sky, so there's some kind of awareness in that realm as well. Um, there's just a deeper understanding about, and maybe even a, a so, is it the word solidarity? It's something that it becomes more... So I heard something... Be, Something intangible becomes tangible in the metaphysical world. Which relates, <clears throat> excuse me, relates to this place like here and now in this, like in this earthly realm. And like literally like where you walk and how you interact and. And that brings one to this again. Uh really powerful, like, emotional stance, you know? Um, they recognize more of their ability. Cool. Let's see where your other two are. Oh, so we have Saturnian energy. That's part of that path there, okay. <clears throat> And then we have another moon energy. So I heard sometimes you won't be able to see, okay? What's coming towards you? Right, this path, again, it winds. Uh, it, it almost serpentines, but remember, it's not on an incline. This is, this is a flat fixed plane. This is the, this is a, this is a, It's square, right? Now with moon energy, this, this is the quickest moving um, of the sacred seven, right? It shifts. Um, but Saturn is always steady. Saturn is always like a kind of like this path it's like it's always here um i see that is your inheritance to to be part of your inheritance is also to feel grounded in where you are regardless of where you've been but as you go along i guess there are some tests in relation to uh, emotional strength or faith in oneself, right? It's a Cancer Capricorn axis that I see. Um, how you feel about what you uh, are building, right? Or it, it could be a bit of what has been built, but... L so I guess a part of the way... It, okay, hold on. <clears throat> The intention again, it, it's almost like this energy needs to be reminded to be in this present moment that it is uh, there. It is, it will be. 
Does that make sense? Let's say, I think we're supposed to say that again. It is. It will be. I suppose these could be sentences for you to fill out also. Um, and then I saw someone write down, it will be great. It will be great. Let's actually choose a few more cards for this. What will be, what, it, what, what, what is new that is coming towards you? Something about faith and feeling. Feeling, faith. Uh, walking in faith. Believing in the path. It, it's time for you, those of you here is, is <clears throat> Well, Saturn rules over karma, right? Here's our life path, if you will. I guess, uh, let's keep rolling with this. We have the card that says inheritance, which is our heritage, right? Where we come from, what we've done, uh, however you relate that in ways of timeline. But then we have justice here too. Both Saturn and justice card are karma, path. Kar this is our karma. Maybe a part of it for some is that what is coming towards you is something in life, if it hasn't already arrived, that's going to um, help you to understand that uh, there's really good karma. Uh, I guess also, I feel like there's good karma coming towards you. Not that there wasn't before, but, you know, it could have been where someone was. <clears throat> losing faith. And something came in uh, as long as as long as. This is a very intriguing energy. It's, it's, uh, I'm trying to explain <clears throat> how I feel. It's these moons. Um, maybe you want to pay attention to the moon a little bit. Or at very least, like, you know, I guess admitting weakness sometimes is a strength that could be a part of as you go along. It could even just be honesty about how you feel and, re like, realizing that you won't be judged for that. Like, who you are or how you feel or how you love or <clears throat> the kind of friend you are or whatever. You know what I mean? And I guess that, that probably it, it merges into here, so there's something about that path. And as you go along, the whatever it was that was of the past that say it was like heavy. I'm seeing like an iron. You know, maybe something where it burned you in the past. I don't know. Someone someone created, uh, emo there was like emotional scarring, right? But that also makes it a part of you, like who you are, all your little parts. And um,
I suppose prayer could also really, <clears throat> whatever's coming towards you is, is a bit of a test of faith. Um, I don't know if we've said that exactly, but that's, that seems to be really strong. This is an interesting card. What is this one about, this little section over here? I feel like it's lives, there's something separate. Maybe this doesn't have anything to do with the other. Maybe this is what was. Like maybe, maybe this doesn't have to do with now. It has to do with before. Um... Someone's not letting something bother them. This is sort of Leonian energy also, which Pawan also had Leo energy in this right-hand side. That's interesting. Okay, so... Give me one second. I want to look up to 17. I'm still learning this deck. So this is a stork, I guess. Um, again, strong water bird. So in this deck, it represents changes, going on a journey, moving house, being flexible. Um, this could also create like a, uh, a desire to create in the physical world in addition. Uh, Someone's already been there, done that, about something that they know, like, they know what's, um, they understand their own error versus blaming the other, <clears throat> which makes, this per makes it easy going, um, Because this, I could also see that the, the intuition of something also becomes stronger, but it's almost like there's a, there's, it, it's the, the road, that path is, it winds, right? So, well, I guess it's coming to trust yourself again, um, to trust again. Huh. If you feel like you've already, what we've talked about, like you're walking down this path, et cetera, and you're still here, and you're wanting to know more about, like, <clears throat> particularly love energy, uh, pile number one will, will be of service to you. The Queen of Wands is, like, looking right over there. Um, okay. Huh. These are interesting. All right. Let's do number three. Oh, let me take a second. We'll start in 10, ten seconds. Okay. Excuse me just a moment. So, let's start at the bottom. <clears throat> oh, the star. Wow. That's it. That's a, that's a big one. The key. So the key's in the stars. Uh, something, mirac something miraculously, like, opens up. Like, everything aligns a bit bare. <clears throat> This is an Aquarius Scorpio, those two houses. Okay, then we have sun energy, which says ideal, 
understanding. Wow. We have the card of Mercury, help. And Venus, <clears throat> rivalry. I feel like that rivalry goes very soothing to the bear. I suppose these live with each one of these. So we have yellow, yellow green, and blue. Uh, give me just a minute, please. All right, the intention was is what is coming towards you, right? What is new that is coming towards you? Well, there's some kind of higher understanding, inner standing. Um, now this is, okay, we said Scorpio, Aquarius, here's Leo. So now it's those three, that triangle. Uh, there's something about that. Well, actually, Scorpio rules doors, so this very well could be Taurus. If I feel like if Scorpio rules doors, then Taurus must rule have the key, right? The Hierophant has the keys in this card. And I just saw someone cranking, like, cranking the key to an engine, and it all started up, so... Oh, maybe some of you receive a key to something. Um... Did we mention some kind of great knowledge? That's helping. Um, wherever you've forgiven your enemies is also, um, and where you've locked doors to that which is no longer suiting to you, especially like aggressive energy, your own or others, fighting, violence, uh, just un untamable things, you know, trying to tame the untamable uh, in others and, and, and learning to tame um, yourself, not fight with yourself, right? Not is I, I see, not isolate with yourself. Uh, wherever that has been, that has helped so much in bringing this wider inner standing, understanding. Now, I suppose as you go along, there could be a little bit of jealousy or we have this card of rivalry. So uh, I keep I saw that word jealous again. It, it could be one of those energies where like, you know, like everyone's jealous of the Queen of Wands, right? In a way, it's just like, oh my God, how do they do that? Like, how, how do they create all that? How, how are they that awesome? You know, um... So I guess it doesn't matter. Um, well, no matter what you're up against, I guess, we'll put it this way, you have the key to lock doors so that things don't hurt you. Okay. Um, I also see a, another person is very much of help in the future. Um, you help others unlock things. Others give you keys to doors to open new things. Um, it could even be helpful in the ways of receiving keys that actually can close things too. Um... I'm being reminded of that, that song that was in Aries reading. It's like, been waiting. Right, with the star, you have to wait a long time. There's a certain cycle with that for, for stars to line up in a way that opens up kind of like portals or whatever. Uh, this is also understanding the help you receive from the universe in addition. You could also receive help through um, electronical means as well or like... Uh, it kind of like uh, ancient texts or 
uh, it's tapping into something. It's putting, it's kind of, this is kind of, this I guess is a Leo Aquarius axis again. And it's almost as if the, the light of Leo is being shed into, I heard this, like the, into Aquarius. So the heart is, is putting light into the head, <clears throat> like into the mind, versus the mind usually being the more powerful of uh, the creator. This is more creating... Uh, with love it, it could even be figuring out something about the mental space that helps a person understand more about like how their mind works and um how how information <clears throat> or communication works uh anywhere you've been learning too it's like I heard dreams and wishes coming true. Huh. Let's let's take one more on each of these for good measure. Excuse me. Okay, so with star and sun card, this Leo Aquarius, we ended up with 10 of cups. So what's coming towards you? It, I guess it depends a little bit on what your ideas or ideals are about what you want it to be. Um, and again, as the intention was, is what is new that's coming towards you or like what is what is will you be creating within the future in a way is obviously something that you've known in your heart for a long time about. And it's almost as if now it's creating this Brit like there's a there's a a directive like line, but it, but it's more of a bridge than a straight line. Right. It's like you have to kind of I heard go up a bit of an incline and then reach the top and then decline somewhat to connect to where well, I heard something's waiting for your participation. It's almost like you have to arrive in this place, whatever this is. The person had to arrive physically to be able to receive this. Now, I suppose this seems in a sense Where like something's already, it's already happening. So I guess there could be an emphasis for a person, the, the energy of what is coming towards you is almost like I could see there's a person that just like there's an energy that might just be like, OK, I'm going to wait right here. I'm going to wait right here um, for this to arrive. Uh, Hold on. Some of you, I guess what's coming towards you is something where you may have to ask for help. Um, it 
you know, Mer Mercury is a uh, communicative energy, right? And it literally says the word help on it. <clears throat> so it's like, I need help. Can you help me? I'd love to help you. Uh, I guess a, a part of a part of how you as you walk along, because I don't sense a person is worried about whatever is coming towards them, whether they will receive it or not. It's like again, already in their heart, they know they're on the right. Like there's there's really no way to get off this. I heard this path of awesome, so. <laughs> You know, if you if that's what you believe in your heart, that the path that you're walking is awesome, then the path is awesome, right? Um, and of course, there'll be times where like you need help or someone else needs help on the path, and then you figure out whether, you know, if that's yourself, can you help yourself? If not, how do you ask for help, right? If is someone asking you for too much help or like trying to take you off your path because you know whatever, then you know boundaries with this rivalry bear energy, of course. Uh, so there could be something again about the the a way to ensure as the path goes along that it maybe even feels better is also offering of your time you know um maybe this is volunteering somewhere or um you know, watching somebody's house when they're not there. Or, again, if you're also, like, looking for a home in the future, that also is, someone's like, here's, here, here's, a, I heard, here's a spare key, or, like, here's a key. Uh, and then I saw the words, uh, uh, lots of opportunity. Is there anything else? You always have help whenever you need it. And actually, uh, I think it was pile one talked a bit about this, but if you are a super giver, if you're the one that's like always helping others, even even those which don't appreciate it, you know, whenever that's been, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this would also be practicing and receiving, because that's that's the only way you'll be able to get the key. And the heart also has to be open to receiving also. It's like someone gets a golden star. Do you see this? It's like this hand gets the key. This hand gets the golden star. And there's something about Christmas. Huh. As sun rules home and Mercury also rules over kind of like our neighborhoods or our connections in that way, if we, if we take this as like a smaller, Taurus talked about this, like these smaller little where you are and then like your concentric circle of vicinity, like really what kind, what is your dream house? You know, like um, what what is your dream? What are your dreams? Um You know, dream house, dream job, your neighborhood, however, however you want to think about it, like, be put it out there, you know, and be 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 really open and what the possibilities are. I mean, why not shoot high? You know, you don't got to I heard you don't got to play small. You don't have to play small. Maybe you have, but you don't have to play small anymore. Um, because there's some kind of logic here. Also, that's just like, well, 
I'm going to receive the energy of the message of a, a person understanding that they're going to receive. They're already receiving it, but it's like they're going to receive. Well, I heard everything that they believe. about X, Y, and, Z and Z's. <laughs> so I heard don't let anybody, you know, maybe this is, maybe this is getting rid of difficulty too in um, anything or body that's doesn't want to support you. You know what I mean? Like removing oneself from that, right? Making, making correct, uh, having clarity of mind in, in, um, decision-making, you know, and huh. King of Swords is so intelligent, so clear, so fair. He don't play no, he doesn't play no mess either. No way. Strong, like when he says, when this person says something, they mean it. You know what I mean? It's, um, they don't mince, they don't mince their words. What they say, they mean. You know, I, I'd also look at friendship in ways of what you're, what you're wishing and wanting in there too. Your friends, your lovers, what have you. Um, and whatever's coming towards you is quite magnificent. Yeah, the Empress and the Strength Guard. That is so incredibly creative. So incredibly creative. And this, this solar plex is really highlighted, which is about one's own chi, you know, like one's own power and and what the heart sits upon. You know, the the It's gorgeous. This also emphasizes a Taurus Leo energy too. So this is possessing courage as you go along in the path that you are creating, but not rushing it either, because I don't feel like this energy is trying to run towards what is coming towards them. It's more of being in it now, and it's building towards that and giving you time, you know, in a more natural sense to, um, yeah, absolutely, to sort of ponder over what is possible and figuring out how to combine energies with others that are... Um, well, I guess more true. Okay, Ace of Swords, that's that. Oh, well, I hope this was fun um, and you enjoyed this reading. Wishing you the best, and may whatever is coming towards you be blessed. Peace out.